generic greetings and welcome back once again to my recycling center today's beverages a chocolate coconut surprise protein drink shake type thing half beverage half physical nutrients i'm not too sure what the surprise is other than just how bland the thing is but uh, either way quite a filling beverage so welcome back to the game and yes there has been some progress anyway in the previous episode we recycled in this episode we're going to recycle <gasps> And that includes things like, well, apparently a lot of radiators. So on the previous episode, we managed to get um, the hazardous waste bin as well as the electronic devices thing. And we basically were looking at um, going for some, basically some selling. And I've taken the liberty of buying that as well as the electronic testing station, but I've not yet used them in anger. So let's just pick this up and see what works. So if I bring this in here, it says, ah, we need to be, it needs to be tested first. So let's bring this over to the electronic testing station. And um, uh, that's in red. So I'm gonna assume that, that doesn't work. And that's household appliances. And, that happened. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we pick things up, um, we try to sell them, and it says it doesn't have any sale value. That is a table. Now, is it just bulk trash? Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, some things like we can try and sell, and some we can just uh, get rid of. So, like a radiator, I'm just going to assume, perhaps wrongly, that, yeah, people don't want to buy a second-hand radiator, nor are they wanting to buy residential waste, or a table. Because it looked a bit, you know, broken. Oh, we do have some tyres, though, so um, Reverend Shredder can have a little chat with that. I see, that's that's a decent little side table there, but it is... Sale value was 40, scrap value is 20. So what we can do is place it down here, and that goes on sale. Excellent. Okay. So sometimes it's going to be worth, I'm guessing, it's worth scrapping. And sometimes it's worth selling. Um, like, for example, that table there is worth twice as much to sell as it is to um, scrap, whereas other ones might come in and they are the other way around, but we shall see. Anyway, let's just put these on here, and that's all good. And then one more of these to go in there, and then finally we will go ahead and charge them some fees and send them away, and there we go. Everything is in the green, uh, sorted correctly and uh, sorted quickly, and obviously fees paid as and when they need to be paid. So yeah, so what we do is we bring the electronics over to here and we get either a green or a red light. What have we got? We've got um, a sort of tape player, we've got a multimeter, we've got some sort of old school uh, meter there, we've got soldering iron, solder removal tool, clamp meter, a couple of oscilloscope type things, and uh, yeah, yeah, a lot, um, lot of options actually. I've got 165 approval, thumbs up, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, satisfaction. Um, 845 generic units of currency. That means I could unlock things like organic waste, use clothes, construction waste, all of that good stuff. Um, and I'm thinking of getting this uh, drum compactor because, well, it looks quite interesting. Whereas things like document shredder is just a bit. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not as. Um, industrial as the other stuff <laughs> so we shall see anyway um there's a lot of stuff in the back of this uh long wheelbase white van and we have a bag which is bulk trash so that's going to go in there and we've got a yeah standard garbage bag we've got a table which we can ping off the side there we've got a chair now i'm going to see if this is up for sale it is not worth anything uh, i believe that's going to be in wood so we'll put it in the timber there and yes it was correct um, we've got a radiator which is in scrap metal i think most of our scrap metal was from that we've got another tire and I'm also seeing some electronic devices. This uh, home computer system. Is that a pet? I think that's what they're called. Anyway, does it work? It does work. Okay, so the vintage computer system can go in here. It is sale value of 20, scrap value of... There we go, look at that. I mean, it would be nice if there was some tables. Um, recyclables. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got some trees, so we'll go and have a little... Uh, little referral with Dr. Chopper and there's some more in here lots of trees to get uh, chopped down um, money's going up pretty well um, yeah let's just keep going it's uh, at the point now that because we've got so many devices and skips and bins and other things uh, it's actually got a bit of a got a bit of a mileage to cover here definitely getting our steps in that's for 
That's for sure. And... Hmm. Sorry, that guy has outfit. It <laughs> feels like he was wanting to be in a Guy Ritchie film, but could only afford Primark. Anyway, um, let's just go ahead and put the screen in. That's scrap metal. I don't know why I checked. Um, we should have... Uh... Actually, you know what? Is this saleable? No, it's not. So, we'll put it in here. And... The last one? I think so. Wow, and the money's rolling in. So, we will charge fees and send them on their way. Yes, in terms of stuff that we can unlock, I'd very much like to get... Maybe, like, construction waste. Um, and what I'll do is the container with the front here... Um, actually, is the, what's this one? Bulk trash, timber and waste paper. I really want the drum uh, compactor for 2,500, because I think it'll look cool. That'll then, I think, replace the container with door, like this. Um, and then maybe we get a flat skip. I think that's what we'll do, and then we'll have a spare one, won't we? And we'll do maybe construction waste. Yeah, because it won't take long for us to get up to that amount of money. Uh, our approval's blasting up, and obviously we've got now our shop here as well. So here's the thing. Where does... um? Depends on, like... I guess where you lie on this one, everyone will be different, but the game is giving us a scrap value for things. So, well, this box, obviously, we're just going to recycle it. There's no change there. Stove, however, we come up here, and it is good. So we're going to put it in for sale. It's sale value of 80, but scrap of 50. So it makes both financial and... It makes, it makes sense to sell that. This... Uh, thing will go in timber yeah it, it makes sense to sell that because it can be reused and it, it's financially it's good for you know for us um garbage bag residential waste yes um and it's good that it's not just getting put like you know into landfill or whatever um but what if it's either way around what if it's better to scrap it cost wise but it definitely can be reused like for example we're going to test this microwave oven does it work it does, so we're going to get get it for sale. Um, again, sale value though is is better. Put out this table. Sale value of oh, look at that. Sale value of sixty. Um, go for the stove test. Yeah, let's get another stove in here. And <laughs> we're running out of space. <laughs> Computer monitor. And. Broken. Flat screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we can quite clearly see it is definitely broken there. Anyway. Oh! Wooden box. Oh, wooden box. Yeah. Ah, well, I'll put it in paper. Oh, well. So, we'll do that and check out. And, oh, he's also bought a table. Good. I was going to say he didn't buy back one of his own items. He didn't. <laughs> uh, that compact is going. Do we need to put this one on? Mm, yeah, we might as well. Is there anything else to clean while we're about? Not that the um, satisfaction is something we're actually short of. It's, it's money. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this bulk trash, get something for construction waste, and then put maybe here the big roller shredder thing. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, if an item comes in and it's perfectly reusable, but it's it costs us... Well, it, we'd make more money scrapping it. Is that is that something we would do? Or would we say, no, this... You know, we are going to earn less money by selling it, but at least we know it's uh, got a, less, um, a lesser environmental impact. Um, that's just worth money. I don't know who flings out perfectly good microwaves, but someone that's, uh, yeah, that, that one's broken. Now, is this appliances? It is household appliances. I thought so. And I think that's it. So, do we need to charge the customer? And, oh, excellent! No charge for customer, but they have bought the oven that was there. Excellent. So we made 80 generic units of currency just by selling that. Good. It's a nice little facet to the game. I like that. I like that uh, quite a bit. Any of these need to be cleaned? 
I mean, all of them, by the look of it, looking at the graffiti on them, but I'm not going to power wash the graffiti off it. That's that's a whole different game. <laughs> We've done that several times in power wash simulator, which people still keep, ask, keep, uh, keep asking me to go back to. I've not yet um, had an opportunity to check out the new stuff. I know there's a 40k one, which is just... Um, well, it's an interesting decision, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Anyway, that's now clean, and new customer. So on the back, that looks like a decent TV, but we don't know if it's, uh... Oh, pfft, okay. So, if it was working, it's uh, broke now. So this lamp, broken. And electronic devices, refrigerator, broken. Okay. Household appliances. Um... Shelf. Can it be sold? No. It didn't look like it because of just how... I mean, it is beat up a bit, but you could definitely upcycle that, though. Wooden pallet. Chair. True. Value of nothing. Perfectly valid chair, that. Um, flat screen TV. All good. 150, scrap value 10. Yes, I love it when people people fling out perfectly valid um, items. And... <laughs> so let me get this straight. They've come here. They've handed in perfectly usable items. Paid us for recycling. And then left with something from our shop. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what's happened. <laughs> yeah... Fair enough. So, I do think we'll get construction waste, and it'll go here. And then bulk trash we'll put here. Um, is it worth me doing, though? Surely, bulk trash, we know for a fact you can't recycle. Like, who's going to buy some broken breeze blocks or something? Um, oh, computer. Let's test this. Yeah, I was going to say, just uh, get that upcycled. Oh, yeah, there we go. Bit of a contrasting computer system here. <laughs> um, and a paint can, which is going to go in there. Excellent. And nothing else that I can see, so fees. And yeah, they've bought another stove. I'm not too sure how they've got it in the back of that car, but you know, good for them. Right, over to here, and I want to go to management. Here, I want to put bulk. And is it going to... Oh, yeah, the game really doesn't like that. And we're going to pick up... I think I'm going to pick up... Is it construction waste for the drum compactor? Bulk trash, timber, or paper? No, it's not that one. Um, flat, Yeah, flat skip is what I want. Construction waste. And then... Flat. Which can go there. And that is going to be construction waste and we'll have some metal stairs because why not and there we go right we got another bit of here it means I'm not going to be get. Uh, I'm not going to be picking up that um, roll crusher for some time but it's not too much of a problem there's a perfectly usable dishwasher a hundred is how much that uh, costs I like the look of it. Um, I'm guessing things like the deck chairs are not going to work. Um, we are travelling a fair bit now. And a ladder. No, that would be metal. I was going to say, I, I could even, as I was doing that, I was thinking, this is a mistake, isn't it? And the bot a TV. I mean, at this rate, if they keep uh, buying that sort of stuff, we'll be alright. So, let's uh, do a bit of cleaning. On this crusher here. This is our wooden crusher. I mean, it'll crush everything. It'll crush, crush paper, crush bone, um, the, the, anything you put in it, really. But it, it, it's sort of earmarked for for timber, really. And there's that. And none of these. No. Hazardous waste is always 
dirty anywhere. And I'm seeing a lot of stuff in the back of this. A big assortment of stuff. And, oh, I'm seeing this little table here, which... Oh, that's actually sale value is good. So we might as well put that up for sale. And a sink. Hmm, I wonder if that's construction waste. Yes, it is. Ah, but the question now is, do we charge for construction waste? I don't know. Mounted animal. Can we sell that? Yes, we can. All right. Um, faucet. We can. Right. Um, we're pretty much full. Um, cabinet, timber, and flat screen. Yep, broken. <laughs> Electronic devices. Uh, plastic bucket. Bouquet. And plastic container. So I'm going to say charge fees. And it says customer fees paid 10. And they've just bought a computer. So we can confirm that sinks, construction waste, it is a fee of 10 to use that one. Let's clean the container once more. And see how we get. Uh, we got 105 satisfaction, which means that if we wanted to, we could certainly um, we could certainly get. I think the bottles is 100. I think it is. Uh, there we go. That's clean. And then that that's orange. That's all the orange. <laughs> all right. So, Dr. Chopper can have a chat with this uh, little, little appointment with that tree. Reverend Shredder. And there goes the tire. Unless it gets yeeted over that fence, which probably has happened before. And a shelf, which is going to go in timber. And I'm fairly confident I need to turn this thing on. And we will charge his customers some fees. And they've bought the dishwasher. Excellent. It won't be long before we can replace this with the uh, the big shredder or the roller crusher thing. Now here's here's the um, here's the question. Like we've got all of our skips and bins on this side, but like the crushing stuffs on this side. So would it be best for me to move these along and put the roller crusher there? I think we do, but I know it's gonna. I know I'm going to get confused, not that that takes much. Um, so we're going to say the garden waste moves along. And then the scrap tyres moves along as well. And then we've got that space. A couple more cars, I believe. Before we can uh, afford that roller crusher. Oh, I'm just looking on the top right gonna be a nice satisfying crunch yes nice and good grief this is uh, quite a full car cardboard box that that got sent and that's in the paper another plastic box I'm not seeing a battery now would that, be, would that go under hazardous certainly the paint can and let's test the microwave oven. Yes, so we can get that on sale. There we go. Car battery. Deny disposal. This looks like we can't dispose of that still. I thought that would have been, if anything, hazardous waste. I was going to say, did that go in? And send. That went in. Commercial waste. Got a paint can. Bit of cardboard here. And a mounted animal. Can we sell that? Yes, we can. But we've got little space left. So, charge them some fees. And they've just... Oh. Cardboard box, not, res not a sort. Oh. Did I miss? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, that's on me. Um, sorry. Oh, right. It wasn't... Did they buy back their own animal? 
You know what? Even if it wasn't the exact one, it was an identical item. Oh my good grief, what is this? <laughs> right, just back the truck up to the skip and pour it in. What is it? This must be... This must be, um... Oh, it's just standard garbage bags, and... This is going to be brilliant. Each of these is six generic units of currency. I thought... I've not seen that amount of trash on the back of um, the vehicle before. And how much we're going to get? About, it feels about 60. It feels about 10 or 12 bags on here. So we'll make sure to charge the customer. 72. So it must be in 12. And 129 satisfaction. Uh, 200, uh, 2,446 generic units of currency, which will be good for us since we can... Uh, yeah. We can get the big crusher thing. So, in very short order, we managed to get the recycling center, uh, sorry, the um, the shop. We've got the electronic testing station. We've got a thing for commercial waste, building waste and such. And one log. Dr. Chopper will see you now. We don't charge for that, but they have bought a microwave, which means we can go here and purchase the drum compactor, which is going to go there, and that's going to be, um, what was it, commercial, uh, no, bulk, bulk trash, and this other one, cell container, yes. So, let's let this person in, and we'll see what they have. I'm just going to... Mm, they're garbage bags, yeah. One. Hang on. Two. Three. Stools. The chair is not worth anything. It is timber. So... I probably worked at a barn, has just been fired and thought he'd clear the place out. And... Fees and send them on their way. Didn't, they didn't buy anything though. Um, just gonna go in here. Bulk trash. For the drum compactor. Metal stairs, it's active actually. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Right, and how do we turn that on? Here. Oh, so it goes down and it rolls. Oh, we have to activate ourselves. Oh, okay. Interesting. So we have to do that ourselves. Oh, that's pretty good. Look forward to crushing some of that. And... What's next? Well, there's a clock. Is that worth anything? It is. So we've said all this time, hey, I wonder if that's worth anything. Indeed it is. Which is good. Residential waste. It says garbage bag, but it was a different colour. Oh, the clock. We know these are worth something. So might as well put the clocks on for sale. Recyclables. Concrete rubble. Goes in there. So we know we're going to have to charge some fees to the customer. Microwave oven. Does it work? It does not. So household appliances it goes. And... One tyre. Like that. And we'll charge them some fees. And they've bought themselves a microwave. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Um, over to shop management here. And to the garden waste. That's fine. Scrap tyres. I can get some metal stairs. And I've been meaning to pick up because I want to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, so you can go up here and watch it, if you need to. It just seems like we should have something like that. Approval is 145. I think the highest is the documents um, at 150. 
but we don't have obviously the money to uh, we don't have the money sadly to to buy any of those new things so we'll just see how we get on here that's that cleaned and I think we'll have one more car before we leave it there I'm gonna pull up and we've got the microwave we'll give that a test yes get that on sale we are running out of space though so I'm hoping this guy buys a clock um, or anything else in the shop I'm gonna assume that they only buy one item because I've not seen them with other things and they didn't buy anything all right well I think we are going to leave it there that has been a bit of my recycling center we can sell stuff this is good we've managed to get the shop we've got this testing station we now do construction waste we've now got this uh, bulk trash bin but um, it's obviously for that looks like leads cleaning but apparently not um, and then we've got this uh, this crusher here oh oh there's another car oh come on just one more just one more car why, why not why not see if they buy anything at the end as well and we've got oh yep yeah, we got lots of money 6 12 22 and a brick <laughs> I'm guessing that's 10 for the brick I don't need to check because I can charge the customer and they've bought a little side table um, the brick was oh it's one generic units of currency right so the the construction waste is probably based on weight or bulk because I think the concrete, or the, I think the sink was a te was ten to recycle, whereas the brick was only one. Fair enough. Either way, we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of my recycling centre. Um, I think I am going to continue on, you know, and keep unlocking this stuff. We've got glass used clothes, organic waste, data disposal. That could be interesting. We do have the approval for that, um, but we would need a document shredder, which is one thousand five hundred. Either way, we'll see how we get on. And as always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.